Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to do a hack and squirt, and sometime during that process, I'll give you the recipe that I'm using. These are the ingredients right here, and I'll get to that a little bit later. My tools are just a hatchet and I'll bring along a couple gloves. Um, there is really no protective equipment required for this stuff. I just don't like getting the stuff all over my hands. It's kind of sticky. This is an oil-based uh, hack and squirt. So it's, you know, a little bit unpleasant if you get it on your hands. Well, and it's got it's got diesel fuel in it too, so. Okay, uh, let's get out and hack and squirt. Okay, I'm back here by the North Prairie, and this is what I call the North Woods, even though it's being turned back into Oak Savannah. What I have, like right here, I got a hickory, Got another hickory right there. I just have various trees that are that did not die back from the last one or were not hacked and squirted at all. And some of these like this uh birch right here. Well birch do not respond real well to hack and squirt, but this is a strong formula. So this should take care of pretty much everything that's left. So I'm going to work my way all the way back to the other end of the area that I've started already. And then I have one, two, I have several more places that I need to get to today. So I'm not sure if I'll film all that, but better get going. Okay, I've already done... It's kind of hard to point this camera. I've already done a fair chunk in here. And I really can't point this up very well, so I'll just show some more hacking. But on this tree, I have re-sprouts all over the place. I don't know. Yeah, this one wasn't hacked before, though. But it is re-sprouting. Something happened to it. But it definitely has to go. So. Make a downwards hack. Squirt the juice into it. And this one I'm probably going to do five yeah I really can't tell where this camera's pointing I think I'll switch to a uh, headgear okay so I did five in that one I, I don't want to get further into the forest here and kill any of those trees I'm just concentrating for the most part on on the stuff that's already been hacked. So I think I'll grab the the headgear because I don't think this is showing what the hell I'm doing very well. Okay, this one is still alive a bit. You can see that it has mushrooms all over it, so it's you know, it's not a real healthy tree. This is an aspen, so it's a colonial tree. These are pretty hard to take down. I don't think I've done this one yet, but it's already, I think it's already near the end of its life because, oh, there's a hack right there. I just didn't, 
I didn't do much on it. But it's still nearly dead. Okay, I'm going to change camera gear and we'll get back at this. Okay, that should be better. For those of you who are new here, this was a very degraded, overlogged chunk of forest and it is connected to an old oak savanna which runs along back here behind our house. So we are converting this back to oak savanna which is widely scattered bur oak and other trees with prairie grasses underneath them. So I have prairie grasses planted all through here and this has already been hacked and squirted uh, some actually twice. You can see this is uh, aspen and I can't really tell if that's been hacked yet but this one right here is what is that a hickory? Yeah that's a hickory. I believe it's a hickory. At any rate it's got to go. So I have much too much canopy through here. The object is to let a ton of light in here and transform this from woods to prairie. And then in certain spots, there's going to be one here, one over here, and one over there. Uh, burr oaks are going to be planted. Those will take quite some time to mature. I will never see it, but maybe my daughter will. We'll see. So, right now I need to get much more of this canopy died back so I got more light coming to this grass here before winter. Most of these prairie grasses will sprout and grow in a fairly shady area, but they won't continue to thrive. Yeah, I got tons of, of uh, I think this is Indian grass here. I'm hoping it is. So, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And then click on the little update icon so you receive notice when I post new videos. I have videos on this restoration project, working on tractors, all kinds of stuff. Okay, here's a grapevine. I want to kill that as well. Hopefully this is all showing up. And if you if you like the videos, sharing them would be very helpful to the channel. Yeah, this is some of this stuff is really hard to get at. Hopefully I got it good enough. I always come back and do it again, but I would rather not. Not sure if this is showing up, but this one still has a lot of leaves on it. Oh, I didn't give the recipe for this stuff. The recipe for what I'm using right now. I'm sure you've seen the ingredients earlier. It's trichoplur, which is the generic name for garland. You can see where I hacked this tree before. And it, I believe it will eventually die, but I need 
much more light in here, so I gotta speed things up. And this trichopler is much stronger. I believe I used 24D on the first one. And it was, I believe it was straight 24D. <clears throat> So this recipe uses tricopler, uh, which is pretty much half, it's half tricopler and half diesel fuel or kerosene, um, but they're really close to being the same thing these days. Uh, half tricopler, half diesel and then about a tablespoon of methylated seed oil, which is an oil-based surfactant. And I'm using red dye because I've hacked these trees before and I wanna make sure that I can tell which ones I've done. Kinda hard to tell on this one what's, what's what, but I think this one is still alive. This one I have marked to keep, but I shouldn't have. So this one's never been, this one's never been hacked and squirted before, I don't think. So if you're unfamiliar with oak savanna, oak savanna is basically the United States at one time was covered with hardwoods on the east coast and prairies moving westward. And right in the middle, right around the Mississippi, which is where we're at here, was a transitional area called Oak Savannah. And it stretches from Wisconsin all the way down to Texas. And that area is, it's mostly bur oak because bur oak is nearly fireproof. So when the savannas burn, the prairie grasses burn, it would kill off all the competition and leave mostly white oaks and bur oaks. So that's why it's mostly, mostly bur oak. And we have some big old oaks right behind the house, no bur oaks, but we've planted some. And we're just restoring the area around them. Okay, yeah, really hard to tell what's what in here. That is coming from that skinny little guy down in there. And the tops of all these are already dead. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and I will get back with you over there. Okay, I got the whole area hacked and squirted. You can see that's why you use the red dye, like on this one here. It was hacked earlier, but it did not. Oh, actually it did. For the most part it died, but it's re-sprouting out of the side of the trunk. This is a uh, ash, and they're actually really hard to kill. They just keep re-sprouting out of the sides and out of the base. But I think this one will die back to... Tricopler is pretty strong stuff. Like I said earlier, it's used to make basal bark spray which is what I use on the little skinny trees in the winter or the early spring and it's pretty much a hundred percent effective so I will come in here and probably spray one more time anything that is not dying back in I don't know, maybe three weeks. But I gotta do it before everything starts pulling back its sap for uh, fall.
yeah this area right here just had way too many leaves and it's shading out right in here but you can see I went like right down the middle for the most part the first time and most of that is pretty much dead and I believe on the first two hack and squirts in here I used straight oh let me see yeah straight glyphosate and I've done it with straight 2,4-D but I've never done it with the basil bark uh, formula which is what this is 50% trichochlor 50% diesel and a tablespoon full of methylated seed oil and I use dye but that's not necessary if you do use dye you have to use an oil-based dye and it's really expensive so you can get away without it yeah it looks real nice in here grasses are coming up all over the place and we'll see what they are once they start going to flower I believe I planted mostly Indian grass in here besides some pasture grasses that I planted oh a couple of years ago so once this stuff goes to seed we'll be able to see what's what and some areas I might have to kill back if it's like this this is uh I believe this is orchard grass but it no no it's not I'll have to I'll have to look this up not quite sure what that is don't want to kill anything that is a, a prairie grass so if you have any questions or comments make sure you put them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed yet take a minute to subscribe to the channel and click on the update icon so you receive notice when we post new videos sharing and liking the channel would be great as well thanks for watching and have a great day